PowerPoint links, linear and nonlinear. One of the key elements for this assignment is navigation, the use of both linear and nonlinear links in PowerPoint. Linear and nonlinear links provide opportunity for you to create and present PowerPoint projects that may be used in classroom groups or independently. Traditional PowerPoint presentations are often linear in nature. When viewing the slideshow, a user starts at the beginning and moves through each slide to the presentation end. Linear links and nonlinear links change that. Internet hyperlinks are linear. They provide opportunity to move beyond the presentation. For example, you may create links to internet resources, documents, spreadsheets, and more. Let's explore internet links. Internet links may be created by inserting website URLs into existing slide, text, or images. For example, select PowerPoint Help, choose Insert from the menu, select Hyperlinks, choose Existing File or Website, and paste in the URL. Click OK, and your text is now an active link. Color change will depend on the design template you've selected. Generally speaking, internet links will be blue and underlined. It's also possible to use clip art or images for hyperlinks. Choose pictures or online pictures. Search for an image. Take time to limit your results to Creative Commons only. Select an image and insert. To attach a hyperlink to the clip art, select Insert, hyperlink, existing file or web page, paste in the URL, click OK. Nonlinear links provide flexibility for movement within the presentation. Users may navigate between slides in a manner that is similar to navigating a website. Action and hyperlink, both located in the Insert tab, create nonlinear links in similar ways. Use an action link to link text or graphics using these elements as anchors. Highlight the text, action, hyperlink to, choose first slide, click OK. Follow the same process to link the clip art. Select, action, hyperlink to, first slide, OK. Nonlinear hyperlinks, as opposed to action links, allow you to insert a link to a specific slide using text or graphics. Highlight the text, hyperlink, place in the document, and choose the slide. Click OK and return. The same process works for clip art. Select the image, Hyperlink, place in the document where you want it to go, click OK, and continue. When you're setting up your presentation using images or shapes for navigation, keep in mind that unless they're for the presenter only, for instance the mouse on slides 1 and slide 6, be sure to explain what action the user should expect. For example, throughout this presentation, there have been arrows with the word next. These will allow you to move to the next slide. On this slide, clicking end will take you to the last slide. When finished, check your work. Preview your presentation and verify link actions work as needed. For this project, we use the arrows to move through the presentation. Let's look at the preview. Starting with slide 1, use next and next to move to the slide 3. Choose the link and view the hyperlink selected. Close the tab and click Next. Click on the image to view the hyperlink. Close the tab to continue. Click Next. Select Next. Return to the first slide. Use the mouse. Return to the slide, use the mouse, 
Next. Link to slide 6. Return. Link to slide 6. Return. Next. End. And Home. If you have additional questions using this setup, the presentation will be available in Blackboard.